Charter school advocates expressed their concern Tuesday about four bills up for a full assembly vote. We see the legislation as an opportunity to slow down the growth for charter schools and even in some instances stop the growth of charter schools. That is why we are here to educate both the public and the legislators why this type of reform is hurtful for charter schools. One bill would require voter approval before a charter school can be designated. A3852 would create a new barrier for entry for charter school applicants and impede the innovations in education intended by the passage of the New Jersey Charter School Act. It's based on the false premise that charter schools drain fiscal resources from local districts. Joined by several educators, Perez explained they would not like the measures to move forward so they can have an opportunity to work on, quote, real reform for charter schools. We also want to introduce legislation that includes a charter school contract. Many states have a charter school contract in their legislation. And what that will do is put a performance-based contract that signals exactly what the school's outcomes are expected to be and hold the school accountable to those outcomes for a five-year term. We think that by having this contract and having it publicly available, this is any other public contract with the state would be, uh, the public would then know what, what exactly the school is intended to do with the services the school provides to the community. And it provides a measure which the school can then be held accountable for. Reporting from Trenton, I'm Dean Alflamia.